All right, so I thought I'd just make a quick video here on how to tune your uh, walk behind leaf blower or uh, any any engine really um, to get the most out of it. Um, so this one is a 13 horse, but they're pretty much the same. It works the same, at least for all of these Honda engines, it works the same, but um, usually there's an adjustment you can make. Um, but the way you do this is you should go out and buy one of these tools. Uh, this one was like 40 bucks, it's a digital tachometer. Um, how this works is you just stick one of these stickers, which comes with it, comes with a ton of them. You stick one of these stickers on whatever's spinning or whatever you want to test the RPMs on. Um, so in this case, that's the, uh, the blower right there. And then this thing shines like a little light, the laser, you can see it, you shine it right at the, uh, sticker there while it's spinning and it'll read the uh, RPMs on the screen here. Um, these are pretty cheap. This one's a Centec brand I got at Harbor Freight. I think it was like 40 bucks. Um, that's the uh, model number there. Um, but yeah, let me just show you guys. So this one is running about at about 3,400 RPMs. Um, we can go all the way up to 37. And you can see there's a sticker here. If yours doesn't have the sticker, most of them are 37, but you want the engine to really run at 3600. Um, that's what they're designed to run at. If it's a little bit more, that's okay. Um, but 3600 is what you want to um, tune it to. So here I have the machine running. Um, right now it's idling. Idling real good. So what I'm going to do is go to full throttle here. If you have the hand adjustment uh, one, I uh, just put it to full throttle there. Put to full throttle. Grab this. All right, so as you guys can see, that was running at about 3,400. Um, you just point this little laser right at that sticker. Um, and it works better if you don't point it like over here. If I did it, it wouldn't work because it's too uh, bright. But over here in the uh, shade more, um, that worked good. Uh, and it's really important you don't get your hand too close into there because obviously if your hand gets sucked into there, you're not going to have a hand. So don't do that. Be very careful when you do this, but yeah, so that was 3400. So now, what I'm going to go go ahead and do is on these Hondas, this is a GX390, but it's okay if you have a uh, eight horse or whatever, they're all in the same place, or even like a go kart or whatever. Um, so there's this screw right here, which will limit your max throttle. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that out, give it a couple turns out. And that'll allow you to get more max throttle. Okay, I just turned that screw out a couple of turns because I wanted more RPMs. If you want less RPMs, obviously you just turn it in a little bit. Um, but I turned it out a couple of turns, so here's full throttle. All right, so there you go. It was right at 3,600 RPMs, which is what you want. Um, it's really important that you don't go over 3,600 RPMs um, because that's what most of these engines are designed to run at, and you're going to blow the motor if you go way over that. Um, and if you go over 37, which is what Little Wonder rates it to, that's going to your impeller could explode, and you definitely don't want that. So just go to 36, um, and then you should be fine. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.